careful, be careful, my man. You gotta be careful. Alright? Here, give me a hand. Come on up. Just sit down, just sit down. Come on, sit down. Perfect! Yo, my man. Yo. Yo, my man. My man. Yo. Come on. Wake up. Yo. Come on, get up. You alright? You alright? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Someone just took your water, man. They went that way. They took your water. You alright? You sure? You sure you're okay? You need anything? Yeah, you, you need any wound care? I got wound care. Yeah. Yeah. You need some? Yeah. All right. You sure you're okay? Yeah, bro. You had your eyes open. You freaked me out for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful, my man. Damn. You gotta be careful. Oh, oh. All right. Here, give me a hand. Come on up. Just sit down. Just sit down. Come on, sit down. Sit right there. Watch your step. Sit right there. Sit right there. Sit right there. Come on, sit down. Relax, man. Oh, I know I had it last. I guess I don't have no more. But here, I'll give you some loose stuff, right? Here's some. Here's some um, gauze. Here's a. A ace bandage and some antibiotics. I know you probably have wounds somewhere. You got open wounds? Yeah. Right. Here you go. Yeah, antibiotics right there, right? And here's some non stick, non -stick pads. All right. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, man, of course. Just be careful, man. Some people are sitting there taking your water, taking all your stuff. Yeah, yeah. You need some socks? Yeah. Need some socks. Yeah, yeah. Mm. My name is Mike. What's your name? Mike. What is it? Mike. <laughs> Mike? Another Mike. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just walked up. Somebody took your water. Is that your bag over there? That black bag, is that yours? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'll, I'll grab it for you. You got some wound care in there. You can put that in the bag. Grab, make sure you grab your antibiotics and stick them in there. You gonna put it on? Yeah. Don't try getting up though. I don't want you falling again. Yeah, they were take. They, somebody took your water. They were picking things up. I don't know what else they took. I just seen them grab your water and walk away. You sure you're all right, Mike? You want me to stick around for a couple minutes and make sure you're alright? You want to go to the hospital? I didn't hear you. Yeah, I hear you, man. Yeah, but I don't want you falling asleep. They're going to take your supplies. You got medical supplies laying all over the ground I just gave you. Won't you put it in your bag? You want me to help you? You got it? Yeah, you help me. Here you go. Just put it in. Yeah, man, you'll be all right, man. 
Here, I'll help you put it in the bag for you. No, don't don't get up. Stay stay there. I got you. Here, I'll put you. I'll put everything in the bag for you. All right. Your umbrellas in there and everything. All right. I don't want nobody taking your stuff. They'll take anything around here, man. Yeah, they take. Yeah, that's all you got. Don't let them take what you got, man. It's right here. All right. You sure you're all right, man? You good? You're from Kensington? No. Where are you from? Huh? Bethlehem. Oh, Bethlehem. Okay. Mike, I'm not new to the game, Mike. You got to get off the streets, man. This ain't no good for you, my man. You're going to die out here, man. Yeah, you're going to die out here, Mike. It's your life. I can't tell you what to do. All I can give you advice. I'm sure I'm sure there's people that love you, man. Get the demon out of you, brother. You want me to stick around for a few minutes or something? I can stick around if you want. You good? You don't need nothing else? Yeah, What do you need? Just don't try to get up and walk, man. You fell already, man. I'll be walking around the park. I'll, I'll keep checking up on you, all right? You don't need an ambulance, right? You're good, Mike? Mike. Mike, Mike. Uh, he's more tired than anything. That's what that trank does to you, man. Knocks you out. Well, I know you don't need Narcan. You're good. You scared me there for a second. Picture this being your uncle, guys, or your father, or your brother. These guys in offices started, instead of worrying about if she's black, if she's Chinese, or she's Asian, if she's Filipino, or, or he's a racist, or, or he's too old to run for office. This right here is what you're supposed to worry about. This is the crisis going on in America. Not really from the left or from the right. It's about this right here. That's why I don't like politicians and politics. They, all they think about is themselves. Lies and promises they make to us. And when they take office, they sit back and go golfing. When the real issue's right there, that's the real problem. The epidemic here in our own country. Um, it's good to be partners with NATO and stuff like that. But we have issues here in our own homeland that we need to address. Stop sweeping it under the rug. Sad what's going on here in America. I never seen that before. His eyes were wide open. I thought he was deceased, but I made sure. Look, he was breathing, woke him up. Um, I'll pass through, I'll come back through, make sure he's okay. But they were still, hey, squirrely pants. Hey, squirrely. Hey, squirrely. Where you at? Hey, squirrely. Hey, squirrely pants. Hey, squirrely pants! Hi! <laughs> A little squirrely pants. Yeah, instead of instead of uh, talking about uh, your opponents and make and, and talking bad about them, I, I yeah haven't heard policies what they're going to do for the country. All I hear is attacking the other party. Attack what's going on right here in Philadelphia and across the United States with the opioid epidemic. Attack that. You know, you know, um, I really don't like talking about uh, uh, politics and politicians and stuff like that. I really can't stand that shit. Um,
but uh, I gotta say something about JD Vance. I just gotta say it. And guys, you know, I, I only call it as I see it. I only call it as I see it. And what I saw was, what I heard, Mr. Vance was collecting donations to help the opioid epidemic in America. And he collected hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the whole time his, his real motive was to benefit his campaign for running for government. How you doing? Not one, not one dollar went towards the opioid epidemic as he claimed he was helping. Uh, he knew the topic, the, the most important topic there was in America. It wasn't drill, drill, drill. You know, it wasn't even left or right. The number one thing going on in America was the opioid epidemic. So many, so many mothers and fathers lost their children to this, to this poison. And um, he took advantage of that. He took advantage of that. And was opened up a fund to help families that lost loved ones to the epidemic. And, and it's not on record of one dollar going to help families that were affected by the opioid epidemic. Not one dollar went towards it. In fact, every single dollar went to his political campaign, raise money so that way he can get higher ups. Uh, it's disgusting how he's trying to ban uh, transgender people, the LGBT community, um, like about sharing the bathrooms and stuff like that, you know, just like downplaying it, criticizing it. But a picture was released yesterday of him dressed in drags. You know, you can't mock something like that, that you're trying, you claim that you're trying to destroy and have no problem wearing uh, such um, clothes. Like a lot of things that Jay Vance said, you know, listen, um, I'm not saying I'm a Trump fan. I'm not saying I'm a Biden or Harris fan. All I'm saying is if I was a Trump fan, if I was mega, two thumbs down for his vice presidential pick. Two thumbs down. Like, what was you thinking, Mr. Trump? What was you thinking? Like I said, I'm, I'm not voting left or right, Democrat, red or blue. I'm, I'm not voting. Uh, to, to be honest, I don't like either one of them in office. I mean, it would be nice to see her win, first woman president, black or white. I mean, it's, just hist it's history, historical. You know, I just wish Martha Luther King was here to see it. You know? You know, his wife died two years before Obama won. His wife died in 2006. In 2008, Obama becomes the first black president of the United States. Like, you know, two years shy, wow. But like I say, guys, I'm not a political person. I really don't like talking about it because people get offended. Yeah, and you shouldn't get offended. Who votes for who? If you're a Republican and your brother uh, votes for a Democrat, and it's his choice, it's his pick. I'm sure your brother picking uh, a Democrat and you're picking a Republican, I'm sure that one vote is not gonna crush your dreams. At the end of the day, you are still brothers, man. You're still family. You still love each other. Don't let politicians get in your way of friendship and, and family. You shouldn't. Don't let it get in your way. A fucking rooster in Philly. Look at that. Hey, buddy. 
Get out of the street.
Hello? You need wound care, man? You need wound care? Trying to do the right thing, guys. I'm tired of doing the bad things. You know, I'm in and out of jail in my early 20s, just doing bad things, you know? Wasn't there for my oldest kids when they were little babies. You know, but I'm still alive. I can make a difference. You know, I helped destroy the community at one time. And I just want to give something back. I'm just trying to be a good person. That's it. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. Sir, you need wound care? You're good? I'm just trying to be a good person. That's it. I'm trying. You know, but I still got demons in me. You know, there's still demons inside me. Uh, and those and those kind of demons. Come on, turn, turn that. That just sounds like shit, man. You know, it sounds like shit. Turn that, turn that shit off, man. That just sounds like shit. Why would you have it that loud? It sounds like shit. That music. Listen to that shit. It sounds like crap. No bass. No nothing. Turn that shit down. What the fuck? Oh my god. So, like I said, guys. I don't, I don't, I don't bother nobody. These are the one foot long cheesesteaks right here. Uh, what are you at? Steaks. One foot. 850 for a foot. Two foot is $15. They're pretty good. Not that bad. Hello? You alright, honey? Yeah. You, do you have any wounds in your body? You need some wound care? I got some wound care. Like ace bandages and galls. You good? Are you sure? You need a hand up? You alright? You alright, honey? Okay. Guys, I'm gonna have to end this video because my battery, has, I have no bars on it. Um, I'll continue this talk tomorrow. Uh, make sure you, you tune in, hit that, that notification bell so you, that way you'll be notified when I upload new content. Guys, make sure you hit the notification bell, hit the like button if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel. Please check out the links in the description if you want to help out wound care. The best bet is cash, cash out and PayPal. Links in the description also pinned in the comment section. Um, it helps the channel. Helps me get here, guys. You know, gas and stuff like that. Insurance for my car, it helps me get here to bring you content. So remember, guys, I love you. See you in the next one. Remember guys, love is the key, drama free. Heal the past, live the present, dream the future, love, health, peace, and happiness to all. Until next time guys, remember you'll never find the right one if you can't leave the wrong one. Uh, to the world, you're just one person. But to one person, you just might be their world.
Love is the key, guys. Until next time, this is Mike for North Metropolis. Peace. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nightmares. Stay there right there. But if I lay down. Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back from home